your problems. Today, we're on set at Rebuff Jesuit talking about one problem that plagues all of us. The dress code. Here at Rebuff Jesuit, we have a set of guidelines that we have to follow each and every day that dictate what every student and every teacher wears. Among these rules, there are a few things that I want to cover in my show today. Number one, no athletic wear below the waist. Number two, no ripped jeans. And finally, number three, no tank tops. So let me start my dress code montage. to wear these items simplifies our dress code and encourages our casual yet business-like attire. Thanks for your input, Dean Hyde. However, I had to be sensitive and this is what they had to say. Why can't we just show this region? I always want to show off my shoulders. You don't want to see those every day? Why can't I, see, why can't I show you guys these? I think if there's like a small rip in your jeans, it shouldn't be a big deal unless your underwear is showing. In the winter, you should be in underwear sweatpants because it's cold outside. Wait. And those cover your legs and they're yeah. warm. And in the summer, it takes tops. Your boobs. shoulders, this is not seductive, yeah. okay? There's no seduction involved. Dress code is ridiculous, okay? If I want to come to school without a shirt on and show off my amazing body, I don't want someone telling me I can't do it. It is my right as an American to show off this amazing body, okay? Oh, well, thank you for that input, Isaiah. Although that may be a little extreme, I have a few problems with the dress code as well. Dean Hyde made a very valid point saying that he wanted to wear casual yet business-like attire. However, seeing that as that we are in a school and not a business environment, I don't think this should be necessary. I don't understand why we can't wear clothes that are comfortable for us and that will help us learn. When you're wearing the clothes that you want to wear and you're comfortable, you're more likely to succeed in school because you're not distracted by uncomfortable clothing. Another reason why we should be able to wear athletic wear, tank tops, and ripped jeans is because we go to a college prep school. In college, they let you wear whatever you like to class. A lot of the students go to class in their pajamas and their sweatpants and it doesn't affect their learning. Since we go to a college prep school, we should be allowed to have a college dress code. Another reason why we should be able to wear athletic wear, ripped jeans, and tank tops is because it helps us express our individual style. If we're limited to just the items in the dress code, we're not fully able to let our true color show. Allie and Maggie also made a very valid point in saying that as long as we wear tank tops, ripped jeans, and sweatpants appropriately, we should be allowed to wear them. I remember Dean Adams at the beginning of the year meeting, sophomore year, saying that if these are showing, then these are showing after banning tank tops. I don't think that's necessarily true. As long as we don't abuse our power with the tank tops, ripped jeans, and sweatpants, I think we should be allowed to wear them. As long as we're appropriate for school, I think they're perfectly okay. Here's my proposed solution to the no tank top rule, no ripped jean rule, and the no athletic wear below the waist rule. You should. You should be allowed to wear these items because they help express individuality as well as comfort for the students. As long as they wear them appropriately and don't look skanky, then I think it's completely acceptable. Alright, let's go back to my studio for my final remarks. Wow, that was so much fun! Tune in next time to Yaku Taco where we talk about your problems. Peace! Yeah. Bodhi shops! <laughs>